do 3.3, which is the third lesson from chapter 3. It's called Skip Counting to Multiply. And this shouldn't be difficult for you, because most of you, when we're doing our mad minutes, are skip counting already. So this should actually be a review for you. But what we want you to be able to do is find that the key terms are the multiples of the number are found by uh, starting with the number you start with and skip count. So start with two, the skip count with two is going to be four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, right? Follow the number four. Patterns on a number chart and patterns on a multiplication chart are related. So what is skip counting? Well, here we go. Skip counting is counting by a number or adding one number over and over and over. So for example, if I have a I think that's on my picture. Here's an example. Skip counting by ones, the easiest one. Which one do you think that is, Nicole? Three. Skip count by ones for me. Five, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that's enough. But you all understand. You go one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four. But you now do that when you skip count by one. We just, just, just call it counting, don't we? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little bit more difficult. Skip counting by twos, Lexi. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Good. All right. Um, we're not going to be going to pause for a second here. All right. I just handed out every student. Uh, let's call it a multiplication chart with some of the numbers missing and a hundred chart. So I want you guys, you two students, to use the hundred chart to complete the multiplication chart. So for example, start at the threes. You see where the three is? All right, going across. And then I want you to skip count by threes, filling in the multiplication <coughs> chart. So what comes out with, what's three plus three? Six. Add another three. Nine. Add another three. Twelve. Okay, so you fill it in and went across. Once you get the three done, go down and start with the four. So once you finish off the whole 100, chart, so the multiplication chart, I'm going to pause recording while we wait. Okay, we're back up. And what we're doing here is we gave the students a 100 chart, which looks like this with some numbers missing. And I'll say multiplication chart. I also gave them a 100 chart so they could count. So what you need to do is you start at the six and you're going to go up by threes. This is where you skip count by. So if you take six on your hundred chart, you'd be able to go seven, eight, nine. So that means that's a nine. You count three more numbers up. You should very easily have gone 10, 11, 12. And then as you start going through the stuff, you can see the different numbers. Three times five is 15. Then three more is 18, 21, 24, and 27. Now going this way, just start adding 12. 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and 36. And going this way, we all count by, by uh, five a lot of times. This is pretty easy for you. Probably you didn't even have to use a chart, but that one did you? No. I never even used the chart for any of them. Okay, well, that's good. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, and 54. I did work. That's supposed to be a 15. Yeah. It is 15. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Well, my, my 15 is a little slow today, I guess. All right. Okay, so one, and this one's 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, and 63. Now, I want you to check yours as we do it. It's because you're making your own multiplication sheet so that you can use it for it during our assignments. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, uh, 62, is it? 64. 64. And then what comes next? 72. Good job. And for 9, you all know the skip time by 9, right? I want to show you something. Watch this. See the 1? See this? Watch this. The 1 becomes a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, and an 8. And then count now the 8 becomes a 7, a 6, a 5, oh. a 4, a 3, a 2, and a 1. Oh Alright, so now you should be able to, very important, you should be able to look at your chart and it should match my chart exactly. Yeah. Now obviously yours is probably well needed. If you find a number which is not correct on your chart, make sure you correct it. Alright. 
Ini contohnya. Alright, sit down, please. The next part of our lesson now is going on showing Skip County. Now, if you take a look at Skip County on a number line, you can see very easily you can find the skip counts by six for seven skips. It's going to be six times seven, or for seven with six skips. So if I want to find seven, six times, I've got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skips. And if you go through your, your actual number lines, or through your multiplication chart, you should be able to make the seven go over three. The six go over seven times, and you should find 42. Does that work on your number or your multiplication chart? And you take, starting at the six, and you do seven skip counts, do you get 42? Yes, yes. Good. So anyway, we know that 7 times 6 is 42, right here. All right. Another way is to, is to reverse the numbers, but we did this before. This is called the multiplicative property of multiplication, right? 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. So if you wanted to, and you couldn't figure out what 7 times 6 was right here, you could do it this way, 6, sorry, you could do this one up here, and actually reverse it. Okay? So this one is 6. Skip counting seven. This is going to skip down six. We so start with the seven. We'll be on to the next one. This one here. Skip count from a known fact. So if you know the number of multiplication that you can use, for example, someone says to you, "What's nine times six? You can't remember, but you know nine times five is forty-five. You can go to the forty-five and skip count over one more to get fifty-four. All right. If they ask you for nine times seven, you do two skips. You get sixty-three. See how it works? Yes. So if you know one of you know a fact in the nine times tables of the eight times tables of the sevens, you can skip count from that point on. You don't have to start at the beginning. What's up, Jim? When you do a slideshow, if you um put a shadow, if you like make a shadow on there, what would you want? They see just the screen. Okay? Oh. Now, here's what I want you to do. What are the first four multiples of six? So that's the first four skip counts. Tristan? It is 6, 12, 18, Okay, now where did you get these what numbers for? My head. Your head. <laughs> does anybody else have a different place where this is recorded? Yep. Yeah. My paper. That's right. You take a look on your multiplication chart that you just did. You could go down to 6 and go across and just skip down 6 to 12 to 18 to 24. Okay? So this... You can your own small fish there, that's right. What about this one? This one goes to... Where we got here? Chase! What are the first four multiples of four, Chase? Four? Twelve? Sixteen. You look at your multiplication chart you made up, Chase. You go to the fours. You should be able to count by fours on your multiplication chart. You go four to eight, to twelve to sixteen. So you don't keep counting on that in the iron chart. Next one. What are the first four multiples of eight? This goes to coal. Coal. Pardon me? Sixteen. It's on your sheet of paper. You can read them off. Go to your eights. And you skip count by eight. What are they? Eight. First one is eight. The second one is sixteen. What's the third one? Twenty-four. 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 What's the one next after that? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. So start. Go to your hundred chart. Whatever your your eights on your multiplication chart, and you can skip count. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. Alright, skip counting the missing numbers. So, this one goes to Thomas. What are the missing numbers here, Thomas? 14. 14. 28. 28. Nice. He's looking at his multiplication chart. Good move. 35. 35. 42. Oh, there's a mistake here then, isn't it? That should be 49. And 54. 56. 
I have group one. All right, so when you take a look at this, you want to find missing numbers. All you have to do is locate the seven timetables, so the row of sevens, right? This is seven, and you skip count. You should be able to fill in, and it should match up every time. Let's try another one. This one goes to Thomas. Thomas, what is it? There you go. Did I put your stick back in here? Yes, I did, Ted. All right. All right, here we go. This one here goes to Chase. All right. Go ahead, Chase. 14, 28, 20, I mean 35, 42, and 56. There you go. We already did this one. No, actually. Yeah, we didn't do it. Okay, well, he did twice. Alright, so now what I want you to do is I want you to use the first number fact to help you with the second one. This is 7 times 3, we know it's equal to 21. So what I want you to do is to go to your um, your seven times tables and locate 21 on your paper. And since you want to go from a three to a four, we actually have to go one more seven. So what is the number which is one more past 21? So is that careful me out here? This one becomes Thomas. Boy, you're going to turn up a lot. 28. Okay. No, no, no. Quiet. What's your question? Would you the one no, because then what happens is people answer one question, you take your stick out, then they know they can goof off. Oh. Because they're going to say, well, I'm not going to, you got to ask everybody else in the class for it comes back to me. This way you got to pay attention. All right, 4 times 6 equals 24. How do we do 6 times 5? Noah, how can you use this one to help you get this one? Okay. The four times six is reverse. Okay. So if you made it back the same, then like that. You just add one more. One more four or one more six? You add one more number to the four. Okay. So four times six, that's four sixes. This is five sixes, right? So if you can locate the twenty-four, that's four sixes, isn't it? Now you go one more. That would give you what? Noah? That would give you 5 times 6. Yeah. 3. There you go. Alright, 3 times 8 is 24. How does this help you find 8 times 5? Tiana. Oh, yay. Good. Oh, yay. Okay, that, I know it's correct. But how do you use this one to help you? If you knew that 8 times for 3 eighths for 24, how would you find which 5 eighths are? Oh, not mine, see. How many more jumps do I got to make? No. You don't know? Add my 2? No. You have to go eight, two more times. Right. Eight, two more times. So oh. find 24 in the eighth row. You go two more times. What do you get? 40. There you go. That's the next one. There are 15 pairs of students in a room. How many students are in the room? The first thing I want you to tell me, Noah, of course. Look at these different things here. Now what? What is the multiplication statement that this problem gives you? Okay, so what what multiplication statement does that tell you or, or show? Fifteen times two, which would be thirty. Okay. Now how did you get two? Where'd that come from? Because a pair is two. That's correct. A pair is two. And you said it was equal to 30, so you are correct. There are 30 students. Would I need, to sen would I need a sentence on this problem? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's the word problem. It's a sentence. 
So there are. <laughs> that makes it even easier to understand it. There are 30 students in the class, right? Attitude, how many students are, are in the microwave? Okay, okay. so the next one. Uh, Bob the Gopher always steals golf balls off the golf course three every trip. How many golf balls will Bob have after seven trips? This one goes to Lexi. I have to get 21. Uh, I get three times seven. Okay, remember, you got to tell me how you get your answer. All right, you got to show me how you get. You can, on, on a question, for a quiz, or a test, you cannot just write down 21. I have to know how you got it. All right? So how many, this, is a, this needs a sentence. What would a sentence be for this one, Lexi? Um, Bob the Gopher. Got 21 golf balls after 10. Very well said. I know. Next one. Yes, Alright, Mr. Reedy knows that 4 times 7 is 28. How can he use this fact? Right here, 4 times 7 is 28. How can I use that fact to do 5 times 7? This one goes to. No. Noah, how am I going to use 4 times 7 is 28 to find out 5 times 7? It's easy, just up by 1 on the 4. Okay, so you're saying that 4 times 7, this becomes 5 times 7, okay. But how does that find the answer? How do I know what this answer is? How can I use this fact to find out this answer? Count by fives, but that's not related to four times seven. That's great. This is counting by what? Four. Four sevens. You skip count seven four times, right? Seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Now, how do I use the five times seven? How do I get that? Can you double it? Nope. Hello. Hello. If I go to eight times seven, I could do the double it. That's fifty-six. That would work in the last lesson. Let him talk, please. Excuse me. Then you can also use 5 times 7 and minus by whatever number it is plus. I'm sorry, I don't quite follow you. Are you guessing or do you know? You're kind of guessing, aren't you? You're fishing for the right answer here. Alright, Tiana, what do you think? Okay, so you're telling me about, so that's not using, that's using a multiplication of 5.7. That's using a multiplication chart to find that. I want to know how can I use this one to find this one. All right. Exactly. All right. So if you're having a hard time saying that, this has four sevens. This has five sevens. All I have to do is add one more seven. And that gives me 35. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get you started on this, but it will not be homework. Okay.